All right, guys, today's the day we are going to start putting on all the ground effects finally. It's been a week since we painted everything they've dried. We have to go back and repaint some of the front bumper, so it will not go on today because big genius Steve here came up with a new idea. So we're gonna have to go back and repaint that. First thing we have to do is, as you can see, we've been taking off all the little trim pieces and the mud flaps and cleaning all the areas where all the parts have to stick. Mud flap missing off the front and we clean the hood up because we're gonna put the hood scoop on and the tailgate spoiler. So stay tuned, I'm gonna film this, show you guys how we do the install. Coming up next. That is 3M adhesion promoter. Helps the double stick tape hold a little tighter. Yep, and it is sticky now. That stuff makes everything sticky sticky. I'm not worried about that. Grab I look, this looks good over here. Okay guys, just like that. There's now my tailgate lip spoiler. Just a little bit of a lip. Gives it a nice sporty look. What we did is we did this in a semi-gloss black because I wanted to match all the other black in the back. As you can see here, seems like it matches identical and perfect. So to me, everything looks beautiful. That went on with ease with the heating promoter. What we did is we just measured each side, made sure we was right. We marked one side with tape so we knew we were sitting evenly on both sides like we are. And that's it, tailgate spoiler done. Now we're moving on to the hood scoop. I'm excited about that. We're basically using tape as markers so once we put the glue on and pull the double stick, we have the exact location pinned for where the hood needs to go. Yeah. We're gonna clean the edge with lacquer thinner so when we apply the glue, we have a good clean surface for the promotion. Okay, so what we did is we just peeled back the first quarter of an inch of this and laid it under there and taped it. So that gives us room without all of this being off and taped gives us room to set it down jockey it into position and once we squeeze it down with the glue around the edge we'll be able to come back and peel this tape out from underneath of it and make sure we get a hard stick all the way around we've already cleaned the hood with wax and grease remover now we're going to apply this adhesive and pray to god it goes down good baby i'm a little nervous i ain't gonna lie how many tubes you said two yeah and yeah. Do the rockers get the same treatment? Yes. <clears throat> I'm going to give props to Air Design. You guys can't see this, but that's actually, I don't know, a urethane or a rubber lip that's on the inside of here. I'm assuming to keep plastic from squeaking on your paint and stuff. They did a really fantastic job with the molding of these parts. We put drain holes in here so when the water comes through the front it comes out here there's a drain hole here and a drain hole here so the water does not stay inside the parts they did a fantastic engineering job all right guys here comes the scary part laying this thing back Listen, I where it belongs the back first you sure yeah because i don't know how far steve put it's going to be like an eighth of an inch About where I am, yep, about where you are. Keep your finger in the oh, center. The tape is under my part. Okay. You need to go towards right it. Right there. There, that's perfect. Do I look good right there? Yep, we'll both look good right there. Keep All your right. finger there, Steve. I got it. Kind of hold up a little bit. Okay. I'm up. All right, so you're holding center. I just don't know where center is. I didn't lay the I'm center okay tape. To start bringing it down. I didn't. You guys got it? Yeah. yeah. I'm backing out of this equation because it's scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> Let me hold that real quick. All right, that's falling right on top of my line. 
And that's falling right there, which is perfect. That's perfect. This line's perfect. There, right there. Now it's down. I think it needs to come back a little bit on your side, right? You want me to push it towards you? That's perfect. That's good right that's, there. That's perfect. That's right where it was at. Take a look across it. <laughs> Okay, now this is the center of the hood scoop. We're just going to drop it on and pray. <laughs> you can grab that side for me, Tyler, please. Right here, Tyler. Yeah, lift up your all spawners. Yep, that's it. That's it. We did the center of the hood in the same semi gloss that we did the tailgate spoiler in, just to give us a little bit of contrast. Because I personally think it's supposed to mimic the vents in the hood, and that should be black in my opinion. There she is completed. When I get it outside in the sun and you guys can see a little bit of this brown flavor pop out. It's just a touch. It's going to look beautiful. Oh yeah. I'm getting excited now. And again, I'm going to give props to Air Designs. You guys don't hear me give props a lot of times. But that piece of equipment fit on there. Absolutely 100% perfect. First try. No trimming. No modifying. Again, we didn't have to do any body work on these parts. We simply just sanded them down one time, sealed them, and painted them. And you can tell by the look of that, they are smooth and clean with no waves in them. No factory mold marks, no anything. They came out perfect. Air design, good job, buddy. Fantastic. Okay, now we're gonna print and repeat the side rockers putting down the glue. They've already been pre-fitted. There you go, side skirt installed. Everything fits smooth and flush. I wanna rant and rave about this kit again. It did a fantastic job. Look how smooth and clean that line is. All the way down, all the way down that door seam. I do not think this kit could have fit any better. The line there, smooth and clean. Back part of the kit. Looking sharp. So we're back and we're doing the final stage, which is the front lip spoiler, front bumper cover. It took me multiple days to figure out exactly what colors I was going to paint where because there's so many different lines on this thing. So we got it in here. We got it baking right now. It's been painted about a week, but we're baking it just to make the plastic limber 
so when we go to install it it will be a lot easier for us to install and manipulate and uh because it is plastic so i'm gonna show that to you guys stay tuned so basically what we did is ran this thing through a heat cycle since it's made out of plastic it made it a lot more limber so when we go to put it on the truck it will be easier for us to manipulate Well, as you can see, that gave it the finishing touches. Looks smooth. What we did is we painted this with a semi-gloss black right here to match this edging of the truck. One other thing that I have not showed you guys is we also painted this in a semi to match into the hole there. This bumper used to have these like triangle brackets sitting on here molded to hold your front license plate but in Georgia they do not require a front license plate and I think these things look rather goofy myself so I paid the body man to actually cut these off of both sides mold that back in and fix that as you can tell it came out really smooth and nice and I think it just gives a little more custom touch if there's one thing I think air design should do we make these pieces separate and give them to people to put on if they want to put a front license plate on that way you don't have to stare at those 